This is question number 47 of IIT Jan Economics 2021 paper. Let's go ahead and see what this uh, paper, this, what this question has to say. So X1 is normally distributed and the mean is mu1 and sigma1 squared is the variance. X2 is also normally distributed. The mean is mu2 and sigma2 squared is the variance. And mu's are given and sigma1 squared and sigma2 squared are also given. Correlation coefficient is also given. It says find the variance of the random variable x1 plus x2. So the variance of x1 plus x2. Now, you know, because now let's consider that. Let's say y is x1 plus x2. Suppose. Then the variance of y will be submission y minus y bar whole square isn't it by n this is how we find the variance this is how we find the variance y minus y bar whole square by n this will be submission y square plus y bar square minus 2 y y bar by n this will be submission y square by n plus submission y bar square by n minus 2 y okay we have a submission so minus 2 y bar submission y by n this will come out to be submission y square by n plus because this is getting added pi bar square. So this will be n y bar square by n minus 2 y bar. This is again getting added. So this is n y by n. Right. Or summation y by n can simply become y bar. So we can also write that. So this will be simply y bar. And this will come out to be submission y square by n plus y bar square minus 2 y bar square. And this will come out to be submission y square by n minus y bar square. So this is what your variance of y is going to be. Now, let's take it from here. So the variance of y will be submission y square by n minus y bar square. This will be submission x1 plus x2 whole square by n minus x1 plus x2 mean, right? So mean of y bar is mean of, uh, so, you know, just see this y bar is expected value of y. So this is expected value of x1 plus x2. So this is expected value of x1 plus expected value of x2. So this is mean of x1 plus mean of x2. Simple. So x1 bar plus x2 bar whole square. Now I, I can rewrite this thing as mu1 plus mu2 whole square. This is sorted. Let's focus on this for a bit. If I open this up, this will be submission x1 square plus submission x2 square plus submission x1 x2 2 x1 x2 by n. So this will be submission x1 square by n plus submission x2 square by n plus 2 submission x1 x2 by n minus mu1 plus mu2 whole square. Now, if I open this also, 
I will get summation x1 square by n plus I'm just trying to derive this. It's not required that you derive this. You can remember the final formula. So minus mu1 square minus mu2 square minus 2 mu1 mu2. I will just rearrange these things. So I will get submission x1 square by n minus mu1 square plus submission x2 square by n minus mu2 square plus 2. Submission x1 x2 by n minus mu1 mu. This is nothing but the variance of x1. This is nothing but the variance of x2, isn't it? Because, you know, when we found the variance of y, any variable y, the variance came out to be like this form. So even when you find the variance of x1, you will get the variance of x1. You know, we are finding the variance of y. y can be any variable. So variance of x1 will come as summation x1 square by n minus x1 bar whole square. Variance of x2 will come out to be summation x2 square by n minus x2 bar whole square. x1 bar is mu1. So I can write mu1 here. x2 bar is mu2. So I can write mu2 here whole square. Okay. So now you have got this. Now, consider this. You're also given that the, and again, I'm saying you, you don't need to derive this. You, I'll just give you a final formula. You can remember that. The correlation coefficient between them is 0 0.5. So the correlation is given by covariance between x1 and x2 upon standard deviation of x1 into standard deviation of x2. Right. Now, if we go ahead, right, and if you go ahead and you solve this, this is nothing but summation x minus x bar y minus y bar by n by sigma 1 into sigma 2. Now, let's just look here. I'm just focusing on the numerator. Okay. So this is going to be submission x y, just keep multiplying, minus x bar y, minus x y bar plus x bar y bar by n. By sigma 1, sigma 2 remains the same. So this will be submission x y minus x bar submission y minus y bar submission x plus n times x bar y bar. I'm just trying to bring submission everywhere. So because of the sum, you know, just see here, this is x bar y bar getting summed. So the submission of x bar y bar is n x bar y bar. So I'm just using that upon sigma 1, sigma 2. Okay. Now, if you notice, this gets cancelled. Summation x by n, this will be x bar. Summation y by n will be y bar. So you will get summation x y by n minus x bar y bar minus x bar y bar plus x bar y bar upon sigma 1, sigma 2. One of these is getting cancelled. And now let's go back and check. This is summation x1, x2 by n. I mean, sum of two variables, you can you could have taken here x1, x2 to avoid confusion. x1, x2, just to avoid confusion. And then if you notice here, you're getting summation x1, x2 by n minus mean of x1, mean of x2. Isn't this the same? Summation x1, just re, you know, instead of y, think x2, x1, x2. So isn't it summation x1, x2 by n minus, if I take this as x1, x2, mean of 1 and mean of 2 by sigma 1, sigma 2. 
is equal to correlation. So only this much will be correlation into sigma 1 into sigma 2. So if I go ahead and I put this back, I will get plus 2 correlation between x1, x2 into sigma 1, sigma 2. You have to just remember this formula directly. If you cannot derive it, just remember this. So this, this is the formula that you have to remember. It's okay if you cannot remember the derivation, but you should remember the formula. What is the formula? That the variance of x1, x2 is variance of x1 plus variance of x2 plus 2 covariance x1, x2 into sigma 1 into sigma 2. This formula is very important, very, very important from any exam point of view, not just this. It's a good idea if you can go ahead and learn the, I mean, try and see how to derive this. Otherwise, you can go ahead and look at this formula. Okay. Now, what is variance of x1 given as 4? Variance of x2 is 9. So, this becomes 4 plus 9 plus 2. What is covariance given, a uh, correlation given as 0 0.5? This is correlation. Okay. 0 0.5. Sigma 1 is just under root of sigma square. So, it is 2. Sigma 2 is under root of sigma 2 square. So, this is 3. See, sigma 1 is under root of sigma 1 square. Sigma 2 is under root of sigma 2 square. So, from here, you will go ahead and get 4 plus 9 plus 2 into 2 into 3 into half. This is 0 0.5. So it will be 13 plus 6, which will be 19. So the answer is 19. The variance of the random variable x1 plus x2 is 19. As I have been mentioning again and again in my classes, a lot of information given in these questions would be irrelevant. For example, in this particular case, you don't require the mean values. Yet, they are given to you just for the purpose of confusion. You should not be getting confused by the additional information. Okay.